Well, welcome back to our course. We're going to go over the material now for module two. And module two is actually divided into two subsections. And so first we'll talk about CNC systems, and then we'll get into CNC controls. So first of all, let's go ahead and um, take a little bit of a survey of some of the different types of systems that you'll encounter. And hopefully this will be giving you some perspective of what you'll see in your future. And so here we have um, a super mini mill, and this is an example of a super precision, pre precision CNC machine that has resolution below 0 0.0001 inch. And so we can see that we're, we're getting into some small levels of precision if you have some very intricate um, types of machining that, that needs to be done. So that's the first type of thing that you can see here um, here is what's called a vertical spindle machine, and it is a multi-operational system that is able to change its tools and parts. So you can take things on and off, so have more precision tools that are um, geared for different types of machining products that you would be working on. Here's another thing. This is the final one I'll show for an illustration is a pallet changing machine. And so a pallet changing machine can load and adjust a part assembly in order to do the machine. So you may have some very precise um, um, uh, appliques or, or different types of things that would be necessary to successfully develop the, the parts in the various steps that you would have. So maybe I'll give a little bit of context as we're talking about systems as we now get into some more of the details of, of what we're gonna be covering for this module. So let's be clear up front. Um, so for this module, for what we're covering in this chapter, there's three overarching goals that we can be thinking about. Um, it provides an understanding of CNC's fit in manufacturing today, but of greater importance to the machine, the new machinist, or for you, thinking as managers, engineers, where is it going to go? To learn how these wonders work, how do we overcome changing loads on the cutter yet maintain exacting sizes? So that'd be the second thing that we're gonna be thinking about. And, and finally, we'll also explore the difference between CNC laves and mills compared to their big brothers turning and machining centers. So um, those are the three things that we can be thinking about. They, they bring amazing capabilities that allow us to turn off lights and go home while we make parts and profit on the, on their own. So once you get something tooled up correctly, you can have an assembly line and it can just continue to be making parts with someone that's um, monitoring it, but not necessarily having to be actively involved with each particular part. So um, this last statement illustrates a fantastic state of technology, but it's um, not terribly great news in terms of total employment for machinists. And so this course isn't aimed just to be thinking about for machinists, and at least it isn't unless the machinist knows how to manage the total CNC world, which happens to be the objective of this book, and then what we're trying to, to think about in this course, a CNC literate manufacturing manager. So you're gonna have an, the engineering skills and then you could actually be doing the management of the development, um, manufacturing, um, quality control, delivery, et cetera, of various um, highly developed parts. So for the future vision, it will be beneficial to be able to see future technology to understand where manufacturing will be during your career. So we're doing this, um, a time stamp here for what we're covering in this class. The information in, in this chapter will provide a platform on which you will set your quote crystal ball, if you will, trying to think about what will be going from here in the future. We'll also um, do so by looking back at the evolution of automatic machine tools. Some things are predictable if we understand where we are today and how we got there interesting development of how this goes. One thing is for sure, as the central processing units get faster, the machines are evolving. The line between lathe and mill is, is becoming crossed. We'll already have machines that can do both. So that's an example of a trend that's starting to show up. What's next then? That's, that's easy. It's the machine, a one-stop metal shaper. It loads parts and machines them by milling and turning and, and inspecting them too. 
And so that's what we see as uh, where things will be going in the future. Okay, there's three units that we'll be covering. And so the first we'll be talking about the CNC access drive and I'll focus on this um, part of this lecture on that part. And then we'll break and then have a, the next one, we'll get into machining and turning centers. That will be the second part. And finally, the third part will be programming um, creation and data management. So um, maybe just to keep this short, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and pause the video here and I'll come back to the, um, the first part of three sections here. So let's just go ahead and pause and I'll be right back. <laughs> 